yo 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 it is your boy the man the myth the legend sleepy in the flesh from above language back with another podcast episode what's up guys i don't even really know what to call this yet i think what we're gonna have to do is make a poll and vote to figure out what we want to call this but welcome to the above language spotify summer underground playlist review Fear of Nothing to Do by Aviana and Ian. I knew this one. Okay, so this one was on the first playlist. I thought it was because I just, I was like, this looks a little familiar. Um, I don't think any of these other songs were actually on the other playlist, but I know this one was actually, and I, I sent it to my like, uncle, my mom, my brother. Everybody was liking it. It was a really good song. And I don't, I don't like alternative music traditionally, but I do like this song. It's pretty nice. I don't know how to do the robot I never learned. I'm trying to play this dude when I'm like motivated, but also like kind of depressed, but also super motivated. I'm just driving. Pull up to the red light. Window rolls down. What's up, Shelby? Roll the window back up because we're pimps. We don't chase no hoes. Other hands on the steering wheel because we're good drivers. Back to business. I love this song every time I hear it. I've literally heard this song like five times already. Yeah, it's already in my liked songs. Yeah, okay, yeah, I literally, yeah, I've literally already, yeah. So, Aviana and Andy, I wonder who's who, who's doing what. I love the instrumentation. It's gonna be kind of hard to top this one, to be honest, because the originality of this song, man, man, oh man, it was fire, always. That's a cool background too. That's a cool background art, like the album cover or whatever you want to call it. Well, no, I guess the thing in the. The bottom left is kind of more the album cover. It's like, like a tombstone, which that's cool too. That's really cool. I would almost like wear that on a shirt if it was done right. I'd wear both of these on a shirt. They're really cool designs. I wonder who did them. I feel like they need to start normalizing um, having like artists sign, you know what I mean? When they do stuff like for art, uh, other artists where it's music, whether it's for promo you know what I mean like I feel like it needs to be more normalized to just kind of put the actual artist the person who made that you know little animation or drawing and just put your signature there like I don't see a signature here I'd love to know who made this this is awesome but yeah this song is great too <laughs> this song is awesome it's got like a yeah it's got like a really laid back almost like a 2015 vibe I don't know if that makes sense at all but times were simpler then. Simple things. Yes. No, uh, but this... This is nice. This gives me that, like, teen angsty growing pains. But kind of, like, optimistic, slightly pessimistic look at life same time this this song just gives like a lot of insight to the emotion that they, I think they were aiming for so I love how they're able to do that and really kind of match you know their intent with the actual execution That's, I like that I like that build it Ooh, okay okay let it breathe let it breathe let it breathe that's a clap for me right there mm. Interesting. So uh, let's do it like this. The first one I'll say, or at least let's do it like this for this video. The first one I saw so far, um, Ant Eater and Aviana, that one that was also in the other playlist, I'd really give that one like, I'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10. 
10 is like the best song ever, you know what I mean? Or at least in my opinion, because ultimately it's my opinion, but um, I would say 8.5 out of 10 because it's so universal. So many different types of people would be able to enjoy it. It's such an original blend of sounds to where it's just intriguing to the human ear. Um, I just, it's a great, great project. Social Butterfly, I would say. Well, let's finish it first. Let's finish this song first. Now, after like really letting it breathe, absorbing what I was hearing, because uh, I realized I was kind of talking through a lot of this song too, I would give this like an eight, maybe like eight point four two. I I don't know, you know, like it's very close. I I personally sway towards the first one more because I feel like that one's more universal. Um, this one's more emotional, although they're both, you know what I mean? They both have their 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 things to them. But I would hear this one as a great uh, background of a movie. I probably already is, really. But so we got "I Don't Feel the Same" up next by The Quartz. And just to make sure, really quickly, that last song was "Social Butterfly," fleshed out. So we got "I Don't Feel the Same," The Quartz. And that's a really cool background background cover. I feel like maybe there was another song, not this one, but a different song by the courts in, a, in another above language playlist. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I don't know, but that looks familiar. That artwork looks familiar to me. Mm, I like this instantly. This is like some Tony Hawk post skater stuff, man. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Man. Feel the same out of Dude, this is so like an instant classic. That's wild. This one, and this is totally because it's my opinion. Like, I'm aware of that. Because I grew up playing like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and I love this type of music. My cousin has a punk band, all sorts of stuff. So, he's got, I mean, my whole family's really involved in. in, in at least you know the the metal, uh, hardcore rock, hardcore, uh, met a lot of those types of genres my family you know is involved in. So I got a sweet spot in my heart for it. I would honestly, just because of my preference, just because I personally enjoy this song more than the first one or the second one, I would say this one's really like an, oh, dang, like quality wise. I don't even know. I would really put this one at an 8.5 like the first one now that I think about it because they're both good in their own way. I can't really compare one to another, but I don't know. In my in my impulsive mind, I want to just be like 10 all across the board. You know, you can tell when people get together, they love what they do, you know, and they just do it because they love it. You know, there's no ill intent, ill, Ill will involved for the most part, you know, because that stuff shines through the music, you know. I don't know their whole situation, but you know, when you have bad vibes, you have bad energy, you don't do things for a certain reason that, you know, may gravitate towards the right people you're trying to gravitate towards, it'll show. You know? You gotta be true to yourself, man. And you can tell they do that, so respect. I don't feel and I love this. I haven't picked up my guitar on my three, four years. No strings on it. It's got some, some stickers. Make me want to pick up my guitar, learn to play again. I used to play slightly. I actually didn't. I, I was the dude who would go in a, a guitar center and just play smoke on the water. That was me. I was that guy. I was the guy everyone hated. Yep. And then you already know, everybody would be like, all the salesmen would be like, oh yeah, let's sell a stupid ass something. So I remember one time, I'll never, ever, ever forget, I was like eight years old, I walk in a guitar center, and you know, there's not many eight-year-olds who can play, don't get me wrong, my guitar skills really stopped at like 11, so I'm like an 11-year-old skilled guitar, not 11 years of experience, like, you know, like just a little, little gap of time where I was not experienced in, in what I was doing. Long story short, I'm in guitar center one day. I'm like seven, eight, nine years old. I don't know. Next up, Afraid to Fly by Deep Mitra. Deep Metra. 
this is pretty cool too. But so I'm in Guitar Center one day, and I'm literally like just trying to string my guitar. I'd never done it before. I don't know what's going on. My family on my uh, dad's side wasn't around. The one that really does music. My mom's side is. Eh. Well, I don't know if I had said my mom's side does music, but they don't do music like that. I'm at my dad's side, but I'm living at Guitar Center. They got strings and stuff. I'm like trying to figure out what do I do? Do I restring my guitar? Okay, how do I restring my guitar? This one lady walks up to me, walks up to me, and she's like, "Oh yeah, like oh I see you playing. You're so good there." And I was playing "Smoke on the Water" for like 20 minutes, like meh, 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 thinking I was the shit. I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm about to be famous," you know? Walks up to me. I'm looking at her, I'm like, oh no, like I gotta restring my guitar though, you think you could help? She's like, oh yeah, usually it's $80, it's $80 usually, but you know what, this time, we'll do it for you, we'll do it for you for free, I'll help you. And I was like, oh my god, what a steal, you're so kind. And so after that, my dumbass, every time I'd go in there, they'd be like, oh wow, he's so stupid, and they would just like sell me all the stupid people stuff, and like they were, yeah, if you're watching this guitar center, like to speak with you. Yeah. Deep Mitra. Yeah, boy. This kind of reminds me of like a uh, Green Dayish. Oh, I hate to compare. No, I. I they probably cringe. They're like. Ugh! Oh, why would you say that? I don't know. Some people really hate comparisons, but I wasn't mean to compare like that. I just mean in the sense that just like it's abstract, it's really original um, in its own right, and I could see a lot of people hopping on this 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 music and enjoying it thoroughly, and really just like following every like 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 you know that those types of occult followings. Because like, Green Day definitely has like some sort of occult following for sure. I could see you guys doing that is what I'm saying. Having that. That was the last song for the Summer Underground playlist. So yeah, I really want to help, you know, figure out what we could do here when it comes to like a name cuz I don't I don't really know. We got I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking it, but let's figure out a name. I really enjoyed the music and maybe you guys could vote below, find a name for this. I don't want to call it the Above Language Sleepy Spotify Show programming on cable. I guess it wouldn't be on cable, but yeah, so I'm on three hours of sleep in the past couple days, to be truthful. Got people texting me as you hear. Got stuff going on. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. So yeah, I also smoked a tiny bit of weed, but that's besides the point. I'm a busy man. I'm a busy man. So yeah, figure out what to do on the next one, and we'll have a name the next time around. Um, I'm guessing maybe I'm wrong, because I don't really know. But uh, we'll see. Maybe the Drip Fest. Maybe the Drip Fest is going to be the next one. We'll check it out. See what we got going on. See we got a lot of artists here. A lot of, a lot of cool looking stuff.